Access Holdings has announced its cooperation with the U.S. authorities investigating the tragic helicopter crash resulting in the death of the bank's Group Chief Executive Officer, Herbert Wigwe, in an official statement released early Sunday. The Access Bank spokesperson, Olufisayo Shidende, confirmed the bank's active collaboration with U.S. authorities and pledged to provide updates as the investigation progresses. The fatal crash occurred on Friday at about 10 p.m. involving Herbert Igwe, his wife, his son, and Abimbola Ogumbanjo, the former group chairman of the Nigeria Exchange Group PLC. The Eurocopter EC-130 helicopter they were traveling in crashed in Nipton, San Bernardino County, California. The National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, has provided further details, stating that two crew members and four passengers aboard the aircraft were fatally injured. It also said the aircraft did not have a cockpit voice recorder or a flight data recorder and was not required to have them. Last night at 8.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, an Airbus EC-130 helicopter departed Palm Springs, California, en route to Boulder City, Nevada. At about 10.08 p.m., the helicopter impacted the terrain south of I-15 near Holloran Springs, California. Holloran Springs is about 75 miles northeast of Barstow. Two crew members and four passengers were on board and were fatally injured. A preliminary report will be available in a couple weeks and however a full NTSB investigative report and investigation will last 12 to 24 months before a final report is published. Additional details about, about the accident include the crew consisted of a pilot in command and a safety pilot the accident flight was operated by Orbic Air LLC as a Part 135 charter flight. Witness reports of the weather conditions at the time of the accident suggest rain and a wintry mix. The, heli the helicopter was not equipped with a cockpit voice recorder or a flight data recorder. This helicopter was not required to be equipped with those type of recording devices. Access Holdings and many Nigerians, including those who have access to Mr. Wigwe, have confirmed the news and publicly expressed their condolences. These include President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, former Finance Minister Ngozi Okonje Wiala, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. The crash came just three days after a U.S. Marine Corps helicopter went down in the mountains outside San Diego during a historic downpour killing five Marines. At a press briefing in Buster, California, the NTSB representatives Michael Graham and Aaron Souls confirmed the fatality and reported a fire outbreak upon the helicopter's crash. They assured of ongoing efforts to gather evidence at the scene. Speaking further, Mr. Graham said they are working at the incident scene to gather evidence. We are aware of media reports of some downed power lines near the accident site. We will be looking into this report during our on-scene investigative, investigative phase of, of this investigation. The NTSB investigator in charge, as I said, is Aaron Sauer. He will be joined by Mark Ward as the deputy investigator in charge. Several other NTS investigators are on scene and will be examining the following areas. Airworthiness to include uh, maintenance and structures of the helicopter, operations, meteorology, and air traffic control. Born August 15, 1966, Mr. Herbert Wigwe was a banker and entrepreneur. He was the Group Chief Executive Officer of Access Bank PLC succeeding his business partner, Aigbo J. Aigimokwede, in January 2014 till April of 2022. Mr. Wigwe is also the founder of Wigwe University, located in River State, where he hailed from. He was married to Chizoba Wigwe Ne Umuba and had four children, Chizi, Tochi, Anna and David. The death of Mr. Wigwe has shocked many in Nigeria and across the world in the banking sector as well. He was widely seen as an industry leader 
having been involved in two of the country's biggest banks, including Guarantee Trust Bank, GTB, where he was previously executive director. Under Wigwe's leadership, Access Bank's assets and presence grew beyond the borders in several African countries.